Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Teresa. So today I'm going to do my empties video. This is for the end of December, January, and February. And this has to be like my highest value of empties yet. I'll tell you guys at the end. So last year I had a goal to reach 5k and the value of my empties and I didn't reach it. I believe I got around 3k but I did start late in the year. So this year I'm going to start early and hopefully I can reach my 5k goal. So in my empties videos I do everything categories. I do makeup, skincare, body care, hair care, and then I add in some randoms. This usually tends to be a longer video. I have a total of 67 products in this video. So I will try to make this as seamless as possible and I only really touch on the products that I feel like are worth mentioning. And yeah, let's do this. So if you're new to my channel, I'd love for you to subscribe and let's grab a snack, relax, and watch. So my first category is makeup and my daughter used up a Morphe setting powder. This is just in the shade translucent. I'm not sure how it performs, honestly, but she used it up. So I have two of these Wet n Wild Liquid Catsuit Shimmer Liquid Eyeshadows. I believe this came in like a holiday set, so they are smaller size. They're just dry. They just dried out. They were very pretty. I I don't. I wouldn't say they're like the Stila. Like they weren't like full on pigment, but they were really pretty. And I heard that they reformulated this and came out with like new products. I'm not sure, but yeah. I have another Wet n Wild product. This is the Photo Focus, the dewy version. And I thought this was great. It does have a paddle little brush, just like the original. I did have the original and I remember liking that, but that one's more matte. This one, I wouldn't say it was dewy dewy, but it gives you more of like a satin skin like finish and it's affordable. And I know a lot of people really enjoy this and I did as well. I have an eyeliner that just dried out. This is from BoxyCharm. It's from the brand Star Looks. I believe it was just a black liner. It's, it's so dry, so it's gotta go. So this is the e.l.f. Uh, it's instant lift brow pencil. This is only $3. This is amazing. It is a great brow pencil. It's not the super fine, like you're not going to get the tiny little brush strokes, but for me, it was perfect. It lasted longer than a week. So yeah, it, it's, it's not too dry. I would say it's a little more on the creamy side, but it's not too creamy. I don't know. It was perfect. I had the shade taupe. This is a brow pencil I bought at Sally Beauty from the brand Playdio. And I believe I got it in the shade taupe as well, or no, ash brown I got it in the shade. So this was a micro fine brow pencil and this kept breaking on me. Like every time I go to use it, it just break. And I didn't like roll it up super high or anything. And so this probably lasted me less than a week. I don't know, I would not recommend. It was very dry. I have this liquid eyeshadow from Catrice. I bought this at Ulta so long ago in the shade Champagne Shower. This was very pretty, but it's just the little thing came fell off. It's just dry and gunky, so it's got to go. And this is a concealer, Makeup Revolutions Conceal and Hydrate. And this is in the shade C2. This was a little too light on me, but the, I bought this back when you know, everyone used super light concealer to brighten. And I do remember this being like a very viral trendy product. And I thought it was fine. I thought this was a good, decent, affordable concealer. I have the Misha BB cream and this is in the shade 23. You could find this on Amazon. This, this is an awesome product. Um, unfortunately they don't come in a lot of shades. This is, was my daughter's like holy grail. I purchased so many for her. I think she's moving on to want to try other stuff now, but it is so good. And if you have a cool undertone, like it almost looks gray, but if you have a cool, like I said, undertone, it just works and it really helps cover redness. I have this primer from Becca, the Skin Love 
Brighten and Blur, Blur Primer. We all know Becca's not a brand no more. I did win this in a giveaway from Alyssa Pope. And I thought this was a really good primer. It, it was fragranced, kind of like a perfume fragrance, but, and it wasn't too silicone-y either. It, it was more of a smoothing primer. I did, I enjoyed this and I used it all up. And the last product in my makeup category, even though this isn't a makeup product, um, it is a brush cleaner from Cinema Secrets. And I know I heard about this stuff a long, I remember hearing about these a long time ago, but recently in TikTok, I seen somebody use it. So I had to get it and I did buy the smaller size. The bigger bottles were like $30 on Amazon. I think I paid around 15 for this. So all you do, if you never heard of this, is put it in like a shallow dish and you take your brush, you dunk your brush real quick, only like halfway, and then you take a paper towel and you brush off all the product and everything comes off. I'm telling you, even foundation, like hard stuff, it disinfects it and it dries instantly so you don't have to use soap or water and it just makes cleaning brushes so much easier if you hate cleaning brushes. So yeah, this was awesome. Now to skincare. I have a few toners, toners, I love toners. Um, I always get excited when BoxyCharm has a toner. <laughs> so I got this one at TJ Maxx. It is, I don't know the brand, Labs. And it has aloe vera and lactic acid pore minimizing toner. Nice glass packaging. I enjoyed this, I thought it worked nice. It wasn't irritating to my skin. It was, a, I thought it was a very good uh, toner. This is another one I got at TJ Maxx. This is from the brand Bliss. And I believe this is more drugstore priced. And I think they sell this at Target. Um, it is What a Melon Replenishing Toner. And it has witch hazel, watermelon, willow bark, and hyaluronic acid. I thought it was another really good toner. I like that it had this little pump thing. So you could just put your cotton pad and just pump it down like that. So yeah, enjoyed that. And then this is one I got on Amazon. I do believe they sell this brand at Ulta now, it is the Peach Slices. This is K-Beauty. It is the Snail Rescue Blemish Busting Toner. So it has 95% snail mucin concentrate. It's supposed to help clear, I don't know if it really helped clear acne. I, on reviews on Amazon, people said it, it it was very powerful. Like if you have dry skin, it could be too much. I didn't find it to be too much. I actually found it to be gentle and nice on my skin. So yeah. I have this makeup remover bomb. This is an Amazon purchase. It is from the this brand Roke Kiss, I think. And this was affordable. I remember that. And this is awesome. It lasted me so long. It, it it was just a great makeup remover bomb. I was actually very impressed with it. It has two layers, so it comes with this little spatula so you don't have to touch the product and you could store it because how many products come with those spatulas and you lose them? And then you could just lift up the top and get the product out. It was great. You only needed a little bit to remove the makeup. If you like cleanse, makeup remover cleanser bombs, I highly recommend this. Uh, face wash from Pacifica, the Glow Baby Brightening Face Wash. I wasn't a huge fan of this. I used up another one in my last empties. I don't know, I think these are mediocre. It was like in a gift set, holiday gift set. I did recently see they had these gift sets at TJ Maxx. But yeah, I mean, I used it up, but I wouldn't repurchase. I don't think it was anything special. I used up uh, a smaller size of the Fresh Soy Face Cleanser. I love this stuff. I love the way it smells. It has this rose, like herbally smell. I love it. And I do like the way it feels on my skin, like real silky. I did hear somebody, one of my friends say they did not like it though. They said it didn't feel like it actually cleaned her skin. So I guess it just depends, but I personally loved it. I feel like I'm in a spa when I use it. This product is from Kate Somerville and it's exfoli exfoliate Kate. And it's similar to like the Drunk Elephant um, Baby Facial, like a product like that, but this had like sandy material. So it's a chemical with a little bit of physical exfoliate and it is supposed to be mask. I don't know, you only leave it on for two minutes. It can burn. Like at first, it, 
the same with the junk drunk elephant but I, th I really think this helps like it's fully dead skin cells and make your skin look bright so I enjoyed this I had used up a sample of the JLo serum I just it was nice it was like a glowy serum this eye cream I got in a boxy charm it is from Fleur and B I eyes eyes baby anti-aging eye cream I really did enjoy this um, it was very hydrating. It's more of a thicker cream, and I would use this at nighttime. I, I, I enjoyed it. Another serum, this is from Glow Skin Beauty, the Bio Renew EGF Drops. It's supposed to like help like have a growth factor repairing serum. I don't know. I enjoyed it. I thought it hydrated. I have this from Avant, you know, that brand that's in BoxyCharm, probably Ipsy and FabFitFun, where it has crazy prices, like over the $100 price range. It was just a deluxe hyaluronic acid face and face and eye night cream. So it was actually pretty thin for being a night cream. I would assume something thicker, more hydrating, but it was thin and it's heavily perfumed, heavily fragranced. I don't mind some scent in my skincare, like a light, I don't know, like a light pretty scent. I actually don't mind that, but this is very heavy, very perfumey. I bought this serum a long time ago at the Dollar Tree. It is a Skin Nutrition's a uh, retinol night repair serum. I don't know. I don't know if it actually did anything. It does have mica in the ingredients, which would make you feel like your skin looks glowy and radiant. So I thought that was interesting that they put mica in here. This is something from BoxyCharm, the Pericone MD No Rinse Micellar Cleansing Treatment. A nice little glass packaging. Um, this worked good. It is more of a thicker micellar water, almost like jelly it felt like, but it, I thought it worked good. I used up these Grace and Stella Everything is Better in Pink Eye Masks from BoxyCharm. They're nice. They're nice to use once in a while, actually. They do feel nice and cooling under the eyes. I used up this Sephora sheet mask. This is in the pomegranate. This is really nice. It was nice and like filled with product juicy so it, it was enjoyable to use i got this in a boxy charm so it came well this is the dew of the gods the weekend glow challenge so it came with two of them one's supposed to be saturday one's supposed to be sunday it's priced ridiculously high ridiculously high uh 40 dollars. so it's 20 dollars per sheet mask but i'll tell you what these are awesome they really like brighten my face and added a lot of moisture but yeah way overpriced I normally don't save cotton pads, cotton rounds, because I don't, I feel like they're like boring to talk about, but I saved this because they're from Sephora and I saved these because these are terrible, terrible. Don't buy them. They were $4.50. Ooh, my ring light just got real bright. $4.50 and I feel like I could, you could find better for less or similar price somewhere else. They fell apart. They're just terrible. Now, these were better, much better. Um, I got these on Amazon. They're from the Clean Skin Club brand. And these are the extra large face pads. So they're like bigger um, toner pads. And you could use them to help remove makeup or, you know, use for toner. And they were great. Awesome. Sturdy. You could rinse them and reuse them. Um, the only thing is the edges were kind of sharp. So you just had to be careful around your eyes but amazing. These are a little pricier for face pads. I believe it was around $8, but they came with 60. I don't know. They're just so good. So good. Another product I've talked about countless times, found this in Amazon. Um, this is the brand Clean Skin Club does these too. There's a lot of brands that do these, but if you purchase any like these disposable towels, make sure they're the extra large size and they are 100% biodegradable. You could use them as a washcloth um, to help remove makeup, and you could you could rinse them, like reuse them. They're very durable. I just think they come in really handy, especially if you wear like tubing mascara. It helps because sometimes tubing mascara leaves flakes everywhere, and it just helps remove all that. They're nice and soft. And the last product in skincare category, this was a little kit I got at Sephora. It was $17. 
um, the Paula's Choice. It came with the 2% BHA liquid exfoliant and the little sunscreen. I still actually have that, but I did use up this. I heard a ton of people talk about how great this is. I don't know if I actually noticed any difference because I did have a smaller size, but it it's more of like an oily feel. Like it, it surprised me. It doesn't feel like a traditional toner, but they don't claim it to be a toner. But yeah, I use that. Okay, now we are into body care. Irish Spring Body Wash and a Dove Body Wash. And I used up two deodorants, a Dove and a Lady Speed Stick. I have two Dr. Teal's uh, bath salts and a bunch of other Dr. Teal's products. I'll go through real quick and show you guys. I have the bath oil. This is the sleep bath. You guys can tell I got a lot of these sets for Christmas. Another bath and then a body wash. And this was the body oil and lavender. This, ugh, this bottle's gross. But yeah, Dr. Teal's are pretty affordable and I do enjoy their products. Used up one of these lavender oils. I think my mom got my daughter this, but we used it up. Bath and Body Works um, Creamy Body Scrub. This was a very nice product to use and the scent Fairy Tales smells so good. So good. It has that ambery smell. The fragrance notes are pomegranate nectar, French orange, orange blossom, vanilla bean, and warm amber. It was so good. I used up this body spray. This was part of their Christmas line. Not this past Christmas, Christmas before. And this one has velvet peach, vanilla meringue, and creamy jasmine. It was very sweet. A spongella that I just got in a boxy charm. I'm actually still using it. I still have product yet left, but I threw the box in there. This is an apple blossom, so it smells like perfume. It's just a sponge filled with like body wash. You wet it and you can wash your body with it and it lasts for a little bit. Um, I, on one of my videos, somebody commented that it's really rough and I do agree it is rough, but after continued use, sponge does get softer. And a tree hut sugar scrub in Tropic Glow. The Tropic Glow scent is very similar to the Bum Bum Cream scent. I actually have a body lotion in that scent right now. I have some perfumes. I have two little samples. This is uh, Killian Angel Share. This one smells like apple pie. It's like a more boozy scent. I thought it smelled really good. And then I have Dulce Cabana Light Blue. It's just a really fresh, like aquatic smell. So I've been on like perfume TikTok a lot watching those videos and I heard people talk about pink sugar. So I bought a gift set during the holidays and it came with a little shower gel. I think I still have the lotion somewhere. And here is the perfume. So this is sweet cotton candy and I don't think I would buy this again. Like I enjoy sweet scents, but this is like, has no depth to it. Nothing else to it. It's just straight up cotton candy. It's very juvenile. Um, like it's not bad, but I like my fragrance is a little more complex than this. So that I used up these, I got this in a gift set, the Ariana, uh, Grande Cloud perfume and little body spray. I think Cloud smells great, but they don't have much lasting power. So I think they're nice, but I, I don't know if I'd buy this again because I already tried it, but it's I know it's a fan favorite. And then I used up the mini of the Ariana Grande Sweet Light Candy. And I'm still working on the perfume. I think this smells good too. It's very sweet. But not like pink sugar, it, it's it's much better than pink sugar. Like it has more notes to it. It's still juvenile, but pink sugar is straight up cotton candy. This has a little more to it. Now we are in the hair care category. I used up a leave-in conditioner from the brand Playa. Um, I got this in a boxy charm. I thought it was nice. The Pharma and Table Coconut Keratin Leave-In. I thought this was good too. I got this at Marshalls or TJ Maxx that came up with a set with the shampoo and conditioner. Yeah, I thought it was good. An Aussie shampoo. The L'Oreal 
Elvive Total Repair. Um, this is, you could leave it in or rinse it out. So like a mask, but this is really nice. I actually like leaving it in, taking a little bit of it and putting it through my hair and it didn't feel too heavy or greasy and it smells great more affordable so yeah I think this is a great affordable option I had this one I got on Amazon it is the Mark Anthony repair bond hydrating mask and this is affordable too I did see that they sell this brand at Target um I was loving it at first, but then I started noticing it was leaving a residue in my hair. I actually put this in my Amazon favorites and I feel bad because yeah, it was, it, it's very heavy. It's supposed to, you know, repair the bonds kind of like Olaplex does. Um, I did feel like it was hydrating, but yeah, I felt, my hair felt like filmy. This is from Dollar General their brand root to end so they have hair care products like five dollars and this is the curl defining cream so this was great you get a lot of product and it's good to like help moisturize your hair if you like to use like a cream um i don't really have curly hair i have like natural waves in my hair but it just moisturizes my hair and i i enjoy this a lot i have this shampoo it's a clarifying shampoo from sally's and I used up a hair oil from my friend e uh, Chanel. She ha has her own brand, EY Beauty. I'm not sure if she's currently selling, like has her store open, but she would make her own hair care items or she even had body care. She, you know, different stuff. And this is a really nice hair oil. And I would, I would like to use that like before I shampooed, I would like saturate my hair with oil, let it sit for a while, and then go through a shampoo and conditioner. I did hear it's supposed to help protect your hair too and moisturize when you do that. And now we're almost done. I am on my random category. I always just throw what random stuff in here that might be worth mentioning. I throw it in here. So I have floss. I know it's ridiculous, but I got this a long time ago. I finally used it up from like a Ithaca's Farmer's Market. It's the Aura Bright, Bright Natural Floss. And the reason I chose to talk about it is it's completely biodegradable packaging. Like everything about it, it's paper. Um, the floss itself, it does say it's waxed, but I don't know, it was so thin, it didn't feel waxed. I think this would be good for people who have a hard time flossing because there's no space in between their teeth, but yeah. I thought it was worth mentioning. I always include a mouthwash. This is the Crest 3D White, Glorious White. Um, I thought it was good. I still think the, Cody, the Colgate one works best, but this is a little more gentle. Cause I did, you know, people did say the Colgate like burns and like cause irritation and stuff. But this I got, I have a lot of teeth products. I got an Amazon, the Plus White 5 Minute Gel. So you could use this like after you brush your teeth to like buff with, you could leave it on your teeth for 15 minutes like with a Q-tip or like put it in trays or whatever you wanna do. Um, I don't know, I thought, I don't know if it made miracles, but I, I enjoyed using it and Honestly, like just plain old peroxide probably will do better than all these other products. And the very final item. Sometimes I question why I throw stuff in this bag. The Febreze Fabric Pet Odor Eliminator. I have pets. It came in handy. But okay, guys. Now I will give you the total. I have 67 items. And the total. This is my biggest total ever. And I'm only in the beginning of the year. $1,003.50. It's crazy. Crazy. And I even double checked it again because I was like, wait, this is way too much. So I did it again, but it's right because some of those boxy charm skincare items have very high values, which like makes everything go up. But I do have a lot of, you know, what I like to shop like drugstore. I don't really buy a lot of things high end. I do get high end in BoxyCharm, but besides that, I'm not really, you know, doing that. But yeah, I am 
I can't believe it. And yeah, if you guys do empty videos, I highly recommend. I know it's time consuming, but like calculating your items and like trying to reach a goal because it's crazy. It's crazy how much value, like how much everything costs. I don't know. It's insane. But okay, guys, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys later. All right, bye.